Hi, we are looking at uh, one of the questions that uh, appeared on the uh, May June 2013 9709-33 paper 3 PMX paper and it's question number 9 and we are going to go through the solution to the problem uh, we are given a curve y equals to sine squared 2x cos x uh, they have given us the curve and they have indicated a maximum point m and very important they have told us that x is between 0 and pi over 2 we are only considering that part of the curve and uh, we are asked to find uh, in the first part of the problem we are asked to find the x coordinate of m okay uh, summary of the question is up here on the board and in the second part of the problem we are asked to find the area of this shaded region using a substitution u equals to sine x okay let's dive into the solution yeah remember where we are heading we are going to deal with a maximum point so let's go ahead and start with the process of differentiation yeah? so let's start slowly we have y equals to sine squared 2x cos x so we want to find dy dx and set it equals to 0 so that we can get the x coordinate of m so this one we are going to set as uh, u and this we will set as v we are going to use the product rule and dy dx let's do it slowly be careful with the differentiation uh, write down the first term sine squared 2x differentiate cos x you will get minus sine x good write down the second term cos x and then we differentiate the first term careful about this when you differentiate sine squared 2x we bring the power down reduce the power by 1 and then forget about the power and we differentiate sine 2x you will get 2 cos 2x so that's what you see here okay so now we need to clean this up let's write it as uh, let's write the negative term second let's write the first the positive term first I have 2 times 2 here is 4 I have 4 uh, cos x sine 2x cos 2x okay and then I have a minus sine squared 2x sine x great then what we have to do is we have to set our dy dx equals to 0 because we are dealing with a turning point okay dy dx equals to 0 for m therefore I can write sine 2x for cos x cos 2x minus sine 2x sine x equals to 0 what have I done I've just taken out sine 2x, yeah? we can call it factorizing, take out 1 sine 2x, I'll have 4 cos x, uh, cos 2x here and here I'll have sine 2x and sine x. Okay, now uh, we can set sine 2x equals to 0, please remember we're dealing with x values between 0 and pi over 2. So if sine 2x equals to 0, uh, remember our basic sine curve so we can write 2x equals to 0 or 2x equals to pi therefore x can be 0 or x can be pi over 2 and so on yeah? uh, this thing here is not applicable why? because we are looking for the x coordinate of m which is less than pi over 2 okay? so let's make a comment here this is uh, not applicable okay? because we are looking at uh, x value which is less than pi over 2 so we have to resort to this part yeah so we write 4 cos x cos 2x minus sine 2x sine x equals to 0 okay let's open up a little bit we have 4 cos x cos 2x minus 2 sine x cos x sine x equals to 0 you must be very careful about this yeah so let me take out one cos x 
Okay, so I have 4 cos 2x minus 2 sine squared x equals to 0. Okay, I have factorized out cos x out of 4 cos 2x uh, minus 2 sine squared x in brackets and that's equals to 0. So which means now we can write, let's take care of this first, cos x equals to 0. So if you look at your basic cos wave, okay, so x can be, first value will be pi over 2. So even this we find it is not applicable. Okay, remember x is less than pi over 2. So now we need to take care of this. Okay, so let's write it all in terms of sine x. So I have 4, 1 minus 2 sine squared x minus 2 sine squared x equals to 0. Okay, so cos 2x we know is uh, 1 minus 2 sine squared x. So if you open this up, you will get 4 minus 8 sine squared x minus 2 sine squared x equals to 0. So now I can write 10 sine squared x equals to 4. Take the 8 sine squared x and the 2 sine squared x to the right, you will get 10 sine squared x equals to 4. So I'll repeat 10 sine squared x equals to 4. So sine squared x equals to 0 0.4. So which means that sine x will be plus or minus the square root of 0 0.4. So let me erase this part so again we can uh, proceed with the problem. Okay. Okay, so let me just get rid of this. We don't need this. So let's come back. We have a uh, sine x equals to positive 0 0.4 square root or sine x equals negative 0 0.4 square root. Again, sine x equals square root of 0 0.4 and sine x equals negative square root of 0 0.4. Now, looking at our quadrants, uh, sine is negative. We are looking at the third quadrant, the fourth quadrant, so we can ignore it. Yeah, and then we are looking at sine, which is positive now in our. Let's write that down. So remember, we are looking at an angle which is uh, less than phi over two. So we are only interested in the first quadrant. So uh, use your calculator. Okay, we know sine x is the square root of zero point four. If you punch the numbers into your calculator, you will get x equals to. 0 0.685 radian okay so just be a bit careful uh, we are looking at uh, we are using our calculated our radian mode and you'll get x equals 0 0.685 radian and we are done a word of caution uh, we had sign x equals to the square root of uh, 0 0.4 uh, when you work the numbers on your calculator please make sure you're calculator is in the radiant mode and you'll get your answers straight away okay uh, this is the end of uh, part A of the problem for part B or for the solution to part B of the problem please refer to my website